It's the fuego que yo. All right, what's going on, y'all? D Dot here. I'm on my way right now to go pick up something nice uh, or go check something out. Uh, more so, depends on if I if I see what I like, then I might I might grab some. But just on my way to go check something out, and then um, afterwards, after I do that, um, I'm gonna head over to this tattoo shop in downtown. B is over there right now getting blasted, so go take some. Take some photos, take a little video or something. You know what I'm saying? Uh, there's, a, there's a cop anyway, so I'm gonna tap in with y'all. Yeah. Yeah. All right, just pulled up to the uh, to the store. I'm about to go inside, uh, see if I see anything that I like, and if I do, uh, well, you guys will know about it. All right, guys. So I didn't get. Uh, what I wanted, I got something better, <laughs> uh, but it's not ready yet. So I'm about to go to liquor store right now, grab something to drink. Then I'm headed over to the tattoo shop and then, uh, show you guys what I got. Hey, what the fuck they talking about, man? Sway, please don't copy my sway. Copy my sway, please don't copy my sway. Please don't copy my sway. Please don't copy my sway. Copy my sway, please don't copy my sway. Please don't copy. Yeah, please don't copy. Yeah, copy my sway. Please don't copy my sway. Copy my sway, please don't copy my sway. Please don't copy. Yeah, please don't copy. You eat glizzies, so I just know for a fact you wouldn't be able to. Ooh, bro, this song's fun. I said you eat glizzies, so I know for a fact you wouldn't be able to handle it. I don't know if you could tell, but I think I look a little crispier, you know? Just dipped out of the tattoo parlor. My boy is getting blasted right now. But the surprise that I was talking about was actually this camera. I went ahead and uh, picked up a Canon EOS RP um, from a local uh, camera store near me. And man, I look crispy, bro. I think I do at least. I hope I do. All right, uh, looking back, I might actually not look any more crispier than I did before. I may now though. But you may notice that this crop is pretty substantial. Uh, I got autofocus on right, I mean manual focus on right now. Um, so, excuse me if I'm a little blurry or not, whatnot. Once I get a little, I get a speed booster, a little wider lens, uh, I'll be able to maximize the use of this full frame um, and get the wide angle with the 4K for sure. Uh, but anyway, it's about to walk up these stairs. Go grab my car and go home. Thank you for visiting. Yeah. Yeah. Um, 20 chicken McNuggets, please. With what top? Ranch. With ranch. Please. Would that be all? And buffalo. Anything else? No, that'll be it. Alright, does everything on screen look correct? What's going on y'all, D-Dot here, back at it again with another sneaker review. 
I'm not gonna get into how long it's been because every time I post a video, it's always been hella long. Nonetheless, right now what I have in my hand are the Union Jordan 4s. These released about a week and a half ago from the time of recording of this. Two weeks at the most, I, I don't really remember. Came out in two colorways. It was the noir colorway, which kind of looked like, like a black cement 4. And then we got these guavas, which is a pair that I actually was able to secure. Completely different colorway. It's like a like a peach guava colorway, I guess you can say. Basically, I caught these. Uh, I ran my bots, but I wasn't able to secure any with the bot. There was a lot of protection going on and sites were crashing and things like that. I eventually was able to get through manually and was able to get my hands on this pair. I'll probably throw in the live cop of me securing the pair right here. And well, yeah, uh, let's just get right into the shoe. So like I said, it is a Jordan 4. Um, so got the little eyelet thing here on the box. Uh, it says Union on the front with Jordan's hands on the top. I uh, got the Union Jordan sign here. And then we got uh, another one on this side. Uh, this one again is a 10 and a half. But yeah, no, box is like really simple, uh, but it's really, really nice. Um, retail on these pairs was $250 and after shipping uh, came out to be about $290 uh, with shipping and, and taxes. Inside the box we got this cool paper here. It's uh, like Jordan uh, looking down, maybe signing some, yeah it looks like he might be signing some, uh, some autographs or something like that. One layer of paper there. You got the second layer, just white parchment paper. And then we have the sneaker. So this here is the Jordan 4 Union uh, in the guava colorway. Again, the hang tag. Got that Union Jordan on there. Honestly, I was looking over the shoe, and it's a really good quality shoe. Got mesh right here on the toe box, like brushed leather or something like that. Um, all around the shoe. Uh, got the plastic eyelets for the, for the shoelaces. One thing that... When I first seen the shoe, I was like, what the heck did they do? Uh, basically, the, the tongue for this shoe is like folded over. I didn't realize that until like later on when I seen some closer in-hand pictures. I thought the tongue was just going to be really short. Usually, the Jordan 4 tongue sticks out a bit. This one, they folded it over and like sewed it into itself. Usually, on the Jordan 4s, this Air Jordan thing is on the inside of the of the tongue and it is like upside down so what they did was they folded this over and sewed it in so that you could see the Air Jordan here what you can do though is actually remove these stitches here and that'll one give you the uh, original like size of the tongue uh, also it will expose the Union Jordan logo here on the tongue here I don't plan on doing that because I do plan on selling these as they are going for a pretty penny right now Otherwise, if I did get, uh, this is my size, but if I were to get this shoe and maybe the Noirs, I probably would have kept them. Or if maybe if I was able to secure another pair, then maybe I would keep them, but they cost way too much for me to be, to, for me to keep them. And honestly, I don't know what I would really wear with these anyways. But yeah, nonetheless, it's a dope sneaker for somebody who's into like these popping colors. There's a lot of different materials on here. And if you're into like that exclusivity, being like, different I guess you can say than everybody else well then this is probably a shoe for you super limited like I said the only release on Jordan the Union website from what I know at least that's all that I went for but yeah this is it's it's a cool shoe um, I probably wouldn't spend the amount that it's going for right now on it um, but I know somebody out there would and I appreciate you for doing that because hey this is definitely gonna pay for like the majority of my rent this month but yeah anyways that's the union jordan 4 my in hand look at it oh also one more thing it came with an extra set of laces uh on the other sneaker i haven't even taken this one out yet it came with an extra set of laces yellow uh orange whatever just like the prior unions have they like this color for some reason but yeah same exact sneaker it's not like different on either one they just added the laces on this one but yeah, nonetheless, that's my review of this shoe. Um, overall, easy shoe to get. Uh, when I was finally able to get through manually, just the site was super easy. Uh, it did take a little while though. 
But yeah, that is my review of the Air Jordan 4 Union Guava, Ice Guava colorway. Hope you guys enjoyed that and well, yeah, peace. Take off.